A former Vatican ambassador who has accused Pope Francis of covering up for a disgraced American ex-cardinal is challenging the Vatican once again. Archbishop Carlo Vigano has written a new letter a month after his initial 11-page document sent shockwaves throughout the Catholic Church. It was released today or yesterday. Vigano is the former Vatican ambassador to the United States. Vatican correspondent Juliet Lindley joins us from Rome. Juliet, tell us what Vigano is saying. Wyatt, Vigano accuses Pope Francis of mounting a campaign of, quote, subtle slander. The Archbishop also denounces the official Vatican silence about his claims. And he urges Cardinal Mark Wele, the current head of the Vatican Bishop's office, to speak out. Vigano says Wele has all the documentation needed to prove years of cover-up by the Vatican about alleged sexual misconduct by ex-Cardinal Theodore McCarrick. Now, in this new letter, Archbishop Vigano is saying that the Pope's unwillingness to respond to his charges and his appeals by the faithful for accountability are not consistent with Pope Francis's calls for transparency and for bridge building, Wyatt. Archbishop Vigano's original letter last month sent the Holy Father's papacy into turmoil. Remind us what his accusations are. Vigano accused Francis of rehabilitating Theodore McCarrick from sanctions imposed by Pope Benedict. And in that bombshell letter, he also accused more than two dozen current and former Vatican officials, Wyatt, as well as a host of U.S. bishops and papal advisors of being part of the cover-up. Vigano called on Pope Francis to resign over the scandal. Francis removed McCarrick as a cardinal in July after a church investigation determined an allegation of abuse of a teenager was credible. Now, after that, several former seminarians and priests came forward to report that they too had been abused or harassed or harassed by McCarrick as adults. And the scandal has led to a crisis in confidence in both the U.S. and Vatican hierarchy since McCarrick's penchant for seminarians was apparently an open secret in some circles. The Archdiocese of Washington announced today that McCarrick, who's 88 years old, now lives at a Capucin friary in Victoria, Kansas. The revelation ends months of mystery, Wyatt, about his whereabouts. Well, Archbishop Vigano on the other side here has many critics who question his claims and say he provides no evidence. Isn't that right? That's right, Wyatt. Now, in his original letter, Vigano claimed that Benedict had imposed sanctions against McCarrick, barring him from exercising public ministry, traveling or lecturing, but it's not clear if any type of sanctions were ever imposed. Now, Vigano's main claim is that he told Francis of the sanctions back in June 2013 and that the Pope effectively rehabilitated McCarrick and made him a trusted advisor. Now, Pope Francis has so far refused to respond to Vigano's claims, but Francis has referred to the issue indirectly wide in his morning homilies. Speaking of the silence of Jesus before the great accuser, and it seems the Pope is comparing his own silence to that of Christ and Vigano's accusations to the work of the devil. Francis also refused to take questions about Vigano's accusations, as you'll remember Wyatt during his in-flight press conference returning from the Baltics on Tuesday evening. We will continue to follow the developments as a result of this new letter from Archbishop Vigano as well. Juliet Lindley, EWTN News Nightly Vatican Correspondent. Thanks so much. Thanks, Wyatt.